first thing first this is not the 2023 moleskin weekly planner review i have a separate video on the 2023 weekly planner and i'm going to put a link on the screen at the end of this video so you can watch Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dunn of AhmedDunn.com. Today I'll have another episode of Moleskine 2023 Planner Review and I'll be reviewing the Moleskine 2023 Daily Planner. If this is your first time or repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this hybrid channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas to take you beyond boundaries. If you're into thinking outside the box, this is the channel for you. If you're looking for more Moleskine videos, there'll be links in the description box below. So I just did a a review of the Moleskine 2023 weekly planner and I wanted to do a, another review of the 2023 daily planner which I have it right here so let's go over some of the specs very quickly so this is the Moleskine 2023 daily planner and uh, this is 3.5 by 5.5 inches and then uh, this is 9 by 14 centimeter or a6 size so the paper is ivory 70 GSM uh, and then we have here dialing codes time zones planning international measurements global holidays and much more and then it lies flat uh, it has elastic closure and then ribbon bookmark and expandable pocket and uh, the main difference uh, this one with the, the weekly is that each day has its own page so this one has you know one page for each day and then another difference we have here is that uh, this is actually a soft cover so I didn't buy hardcover because uh, you know the other one I bought hardcover hardcover so I wanted to just you know try the soft cover so let's take out the planner and then we're going to take a look at it so this is how it looks and you can tell right away then this is much thicker or has more pages than the weekly one uh, this is due to the fact that uh, each day has its own page so definitely this this is going to be had has uh, you know have more pages than the other one so we have here the cover which is a soft cover and uh, it actually doesn't look bad because I've been buying hard cover for a while so this is the first time actually I'm uh, you know I got a soft cover and I kind of like it uh, because it makes it more like you know a nice looking and you're just using for one year so I don't think uh, having hard cover or soft cover really matters and on the back of the planner we have some of the specs you know uh, I just mentioned so they're just you know uh, giving you the same thing here and here this is the elastic closure so you have it here you can just like you know close it and then you can just remove it and here let's see what we have here so this flap right here you can actually use it to create a desk calendar so the way it works uh, let's take a quick look so you have to just kind of like you know follow the instructions right here and then if you do that then you're going to have a calendar like in you know, this calendar something like uh, uh, this and it's going to have like you know months uh, on the each end but uh, I don't do that so I'm just going to you know put it uh, back when you open the you know uh, notebook first thing then you're going to see that you know it has uh, a place to put your uh, address and you can even declare an hour to return uh, usually I never fill up this section because of personal like you know I don't want to reveal my personal information in case someone else can get a hold of it and here we can see that Moleskine diary 2023 and then here again you have lots of information uh, family doctor work email passport number but I wouldn't fill this up uh, due to security reasons because if you lose it then you know you lost uh, you're losing all the information here so we have here 2023 and then here let's move on and we have like a let's looks like each month has an overview so here we have January February and then it continues that way so what it is that you can just like you know uh, write down highlight or important things here in the boxes or you can just like you know, put a star mark, star mark or tick mark if you have something important for on uh, one of those days and then here looks like they added a 2024 calendar so now here we have global holidays 2023 uh, this is nice to have but the problem with these that you know they're so small and kind of light that it's very hard to read uh, I tried putting them very close to my eyes and still I cannot read properly uh, so I think you're gonna have to uh, need a magnifying glass to read all these and then here we have like you know time zones and stuff 
but also uh, then we have measures and conversions and then we have dialing codes and many countries covered and then here temperature speed so they gave lots of information in the beginning but I think uh, those are useless because you can just find them online very fast and it's d difficult to like you know uh, kind of uh, get the information you're looking for because they're very hard, kind of hard to read so here we have a some section for travel planning and then if you move on then here my blank space and my extraordinary moments of this year so you can just like you know put some highlights for this year if you need to and here join the dots color and use stickers to create a map of your unique mind so you can create some sort of like you know maps uh, i'm not sure this is based on where you go or where you want to go if you're planning to go but they provided some stickers here which i'm going to take a look at it right now right here they kind of like you know blend it together with the expandable pocket which is right here so the thing is the expandable pocket is with the soft cover so it looks a little bit different than the hard cover so let's uh, put it here so you can see that we have the stickers right here right here and this is a quality control sticker uh, I don't know what is the need for this but usually uh, I don't use the stickers so I'm not going to be using anything uh, and is it, usually this is a waste for me so now from here you can see there is a ruler right here so you can measure something if you need to and then here they provided some le legend for example public holiday new moon uh, full moon temperature weather and let's move on here so now here is actually the notebook starts and you can see that the difference right away comparing the weekly one that each day has its own page and that's the fact that you know this is much thicker and has more pages than the weekly one so you're going to get one page for every day and then it continues like that and let me just go to the end of the month so what i'm seeing that let's say they ended this january 31st here but they haven't mentioned or provided any month overview so what i would like i would like a month overview after each month like this uh like you know this type of month overview i think that comes in very handy because you have an idea how the next month is going to look like but looks like they skipped that so right after january uh, february starts without giving you any month overview and that's how actually the whole uh, planner goes and let me just go up to the end so there's not much in between so this is like you know the whole thing uh, just day after day uh, no overview no nothing and then once you are at December 31st looks like there's kind of very little page for notes uh, just one page it's not a lot and here they have just some molluskin molluskin information so i think that that's it for here and this is a black color uh, but there's like you know other colors so that's how the molluskin 2023 daily planner so it has disadvantages comparing to the weekly one because this is a thicker and heavier so you know it's a little bit it has a little bit weight to it so you know it's not uh, going to be although this is going to fit in your pocket but i think it's going to make your uh, pocket look bulky and this is a little less travel friendly than the other one which is the weekly one and also that uh, but you know for those who uh, likes to write a lot definitely this is a better option because you have more space uh, and one page per day so that gives you more flexibility and more you know uh, space to write but in terms of carrying in your pocket or taking it uh, for travel I have a feeling that you know the other one which is the weekly one is more travel friendly so this is a bit thicker uh, and has more pages and it has more space but uh, for some this might work better for others the weekly one might work better so I'm planning to do another review comparing you know the 2023 daily and weekly on this channel but this was how Moleskine 2023 daily planner now the cost is 
the same if you are buying whether daily and weekly or weekly although the daily has like you know double um, probably more than double the pages amount numbers of pages than the weekly one but still you know they're the same price because this is uh, $22 the other one I bought for $22 Canadian as well and they might come on sale uh, like just before the uh, starting beginning of the 2023 but uh, when I bought it it was $22 and my other Moleskine weekly was $22 as well but you're paying the same but you're getting more pages here and also whether you buy hardcover or softcover they're same priced so softcover is not that bad but you know definitely uh, I think I like the uh, weekly one better uh, due to the fact that it's slimmer and it's more travel friendly but this is also okay uh, it depends on like you know how much you want to right and how much you want to have for each day so this might work for some of you better than the weekly one so thank you for watching this video i'll put a link on the screen for the weekly planner so i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching